So, uh, actually, I'm going to go from the bottom of the list this time. Katsumi? What was the question again, please? Uh, please read that bottom um, uh, chat box in the game and see if that Hello? works for you. Hang, hang on, Toma. Hang on. I can hear you. Yes, it does. Okay, Toma. I mean, it sounds it sounds good to me. I don't know what can add to it. I mean, did you not? By the way, did you not see the shack in the chat saying that I'm back? Uh, no, I did not. Um, I, I've been back for a little bit. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I I miss the stuff on Discord nine times out of ten, unless we need to use it for the game. No, nah, you're good. Uh, hey, Rios. you're good. You're good. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm good. <laughs> Rio, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so full of crap. It's ridiculous. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I, I think what we've got. I think what we've put together, I like it, yeah. Okay. Uh, Peaches, anything else? Just be sure to emphasize the ask, however you phrase it. Well, actually, I'm, I'm thinking this is probably going to be what she asks, pretty much. That was the idea, okay. was to get all of you together to, to come up with something. The reason I let all of you get together is that there is there's typically no single person on the planet who can be put on the spot and come up with something like you all just came up with. So I wanted you all to work together on that. And there will be a reward for, or an award for it. Uh, Chris. Do you like I'm, it? It's good with me. Okay. All right, so. And I'm ready to card funnel to this to success. <laughs> okay. Rios. Uh, no. oh, and, uh, Yavu. Rios, you yes, you have an up with this. So roll your persuasion against a target number of 20. But you get an up, which means you get an extra so remember, B20. Okay, so you, roll, you get to roll twice. And you can add a pot, spend a possibility. You can do you could also everything do that. you need to. And if there's a glory card, be ready with the glory cards. People who have them? Do we have them in the? Well, you can only use one. Combat is open, or is? It... I have one to set up. Is there a hero card anywhere that she could spend as a possibility? Well, let, let... I have a hero card. Okay, let's take it one step at a time, my friends. Yeah. One step at a time, it. Rios. So okay, so just to confirm, I'm rolling twice, and then we pick the high... no. higher number to no. do with what we want. No, no it's you a... add them together. <sighs> yeah, it's an up. Yeah, uh, you're rolling persuasion. Good. And then you get to roll an up immediately after that on that same card. This is for an increase, and the target number is 20. Okay. Oh, 20. Ooh. And she's skilled. 28. Okay. Now, I'll be damned. No, go ahead yeah. and add your up. You see the word up at the bottom of the... Yeah, yeah I see it now. This is the first time I've noticed so, that. There you go. Yeah. Okay. There you okay. go. Uh, uh, it, I'm gonna, cat. Uh, you don't have any cards in your hand, you know, hand, right, or you know, pool. So, uh, nope. I don't have anything in my pool. Okay, so I'm first gonna play the leadership. Okay. That allows me to place two cards into another character's, you know, card pool directly from your hand or pool. And immediately and refill I'm, your hand. Yep. Make sure you play them into her pool so she can play. Oh yeah. So gonna have to pass two. Mm -hmm. And Kat, do you want the hero or and uh, a willpower or action, or do you just want the action and willpower to just give you a plus six to your uh, to the total of your action cast? and willpower? So action and willpower. Because, yeah, because if I use the hero card, I would have to restart my roll from the beginning, wouldn't I? Uh, no, no. You could just app a. Uh, the button, but I'm passing over now. Oh, so. okay. Action. All right, then I will take that hero card, actually. <laughs> so an action and a hero, hero instead? And okay. Yes. Okay. Just to see how high we can go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I would recommend... Oh, first off, go ahead and put both of those into your pool. You are still considered to be in combat here. It's, it's more like uh, an impromptu dramatic skill resolution. 
Uh, and then, yeah, Connor, don't forget to refill your hand. Uh, oh, you only get to put two cards with that one, huh? Well, I get one more because okay. I need to fill my hand. Okay, gotcha. So, Rios, go ahead and play either the action or the hero. I would recommend the hero first. There you go. And then hit the hero button on your last, uh, on your good success card in the chat. Okay, so that's 27 Ooh. versus 20. That's a die total of 50. You only need 10 more to be able to get a, a glory result. Okay. Um, do you want to go ahead and throw that uh, action card at it? Okay, so hit the plus three card. Okay, so that's... Well, that, that only gives plus three to the total, sorry. But that's really, you know, that's really, really a, a very good roll. Um, does anybody have anything else they could help her with? Um... I mean, no, I, we can't do any card trading, and I don't have a supporter up. Oh, my hand. The only thing I have is an action card, but if I can't play it to help her, then, or give it to her, then it doesn't do a lot of good. Okay. She can still spend a possibility. She That's hasn't right. done that yet. That's right. You have, uh, you have one possibility remaining. It's, it's her last one. Yeah, it's it's your last one though. It could be yeah, very it's worthy. Like a minimum of ten. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a minimum of ten, so that'll get you your your sixty. Mm -hmm. well, uh, what was that, Justin? Yeah, you'll get a glory. Question: um, Can I play second chance? Just out of curiosity. You or could play second chance, but uh, she has been enormously no. successful so far. Okay. Actually, Scratch said I was looking at the wrong card. Could I play Inspire? Let's see. Where uh, where are you at? There is... Okay, Katsum, Katsumi Inspire. Play to give all Storm Knights their choice of one possibility, a draw from the Destiny deck, or they can recover three shock. You could play that right now, but it's not really going to help all that much. You could play it afterwards also, and it'll have the same effect. Unless, of course... It, unless, of course... Is she glory? Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, if... It, um, Rios, if you spend a possibility, it is a minimum die roll of 10. That will get you to 60. Okay? Um, uh, I'll have my glory card ready. Oh! <laughs> So and yes. you will automatically regain that possibility. Us get a destiny card, and and our hand size will increase by one. Yeah. Sure. And I I want to point out just just in case you're nervous about spending your last possibility, I have four. I also have a transfer card in my pool that says play to give any number of your possibilities to another storm knight. So yeah. I would not leave you uh, if, if if you had to have it or soak damage or whatever. Mm -hmm. I could, okay. in an instant, play that card for you, and I would. Now, see, that's some teamwork right, so right say, there. So if I hit, right, so if I hit possibility, I will glory. If you hit possibility, you will glory at exactly sixty. Okay. Do you want to spend yes. that possibility? Yes. And do remember, you, I've got your back if you need it. Do you? And want if you glory, chances are we all get possibilities back, don't we? <laughs> we will. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. One possibility, a, a destiny card, and um, the next act that you hand participate in one. will have uh, a hand size plus one. Yeah. So, so hold on. <laughs> Rios. We're going to focus on Rios. Your focus needs more focus. Do you want me to spend the possibility or do you want to spend the possibility? Uh, take it off of your sheet. Okay. You take that off of your sheet, then hit the possibility. On the on that bottommost okay. card. Oh. That's okay. Like I said, oh, minimum of ten. Okay. I total sixty. Now, do glory. we want glory? Do, glory. Hold on. Glory. Okay. okay. You played glory. the glory. Gotcha. Now the question is this. 
do uh, do we want to deal with the glory card outcome first or do we want to deal with the persuasion outcome first? Uh, they same. happen at the same the time, mechanic? but what, what was that? Right. I would like to deal with the persuasion outcome first. Okay, persuasion outcome first. Um, it turns around as you are addressing it. Okay, big nasty golem. Um, when you glory, a golden ring uh, centered on actually Toma. Um, no, 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 it's fine. Uh, kind of bursts, oh, kind of bursts out, and and rolls away like an explosion from the Star Trek movies or from the redo of the Star Wars movie when the Death Star blew up, and the uh. But once that ring reaches the golem, uh, and it takes like a split second to do so, it stops on the golem. It doesn't expand anymore beyond that. You see the eye of the golem, kind of, and, and it's a single golden eye that is up where you can see it. Uh, it kind of it, it kind of moves around, almost like it's thinking for a moment, and then the the crystal around the chest of the golem around around the heart of the golem um, fractures and and begins to fall away and the golem freezes in place and the the um, the shard is just within reach for you to be able to, to grab it and the light slowly fades sadly from the golem's eyes or eye Oh. Did I kill it? But the building, uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, the the pulses of energy as you're reaching for the heart and as you take the heart out of the chest, uh, I presume that's what you're doing, right? Yes. Okay. Um, the pulsing of the heart uh, going outwards reverses rapidly. Okay, and you feel the energy flowing back into the Eternity Shard, the heart of Ukon. Okay, um, now, are you going to keep the heart, or are you going to hand it off to somebody? Uh, I'm going to keep it until being told otherwise. Okay, uh, well, hang, uh, I, I'll have to find it again. I, I forgot where I, I, I put it. I did build the Eternity Shard. Uh, so I'll get it to you here in a minute. Once the golem, I'll protect the child. Once the golem has determined that it is that it accepts your argument, that you're going to that it decides to give you the heart, the the golden uh, ring flushes out further instantaneously and and kind of dissipates. Now, for the glory card, okay, it's it's exactly. Okay, play after a die roll of 60 plus to refill all the ords in a zone with possibility energy. So it's not like that's really a big deal at this point. Uh, the Manhattan zone just kind of uh, fills out um, with that possibility energy. Uh, there are maybe some stragglers, some some core earth folks who are still uh, you know running around that have not transformed that just got refilled with possibility energy so that they could continue to fight um, against uh, Barok Ka. All player characters immediately receive one possibility. I, uh, I'm. Do you guys want to take care of this? Because I'm actually sure. giving yeah. you each yeah, of you... Yeah, mind. I'm actually giving each of you two possibilities. One for working oh. together so well to improve or, or to... to to write the the persuasion that Rios ultimately gave out, um, uh, and one for the glory. Okay. Now, you also draw a destiny card, each of you. Uh, I will see okay, if so we get what two possibilities. Yes, um, I, I added my own possibilities and draw a card. Okay, gotcha. I'm going to draw. Gordo's destiny card, <laughs> and I'm going to increase his possibilities by one because he was not here to help write. 
okay but he still gets the benefits of the glory since he's in the area uh let's see hand size is increased by one until the end of the next act which will be our next torg adventure the first act of our next torg adventure uh next act only one glory card may be played per die roll all right now you have to admit that that was a pretty dramatic thing the 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 golem actually i guess the golem was supposed to increase that to a dramatic uh, a dramatic ra um, scene because of its size but i i just didn't oh. do that okay chris what uh, you got and technically we weren't uh, technically we weren't hostile to it so i wouldn't we were just in normal rounds in my mind well, with the golem, yeah. Um, but with one eye, actually, yeah, one eye, the way that he was, he would have increased it. To, but I ran it as a standard scene instead of dramatic scene. Sorry. Uh, oh, well. I should have thought of that. But, okay. So the golden ring goes out, and uh, all of the energy that has been going out, well, not all of the energy, the most recent energy that's been going out through these crystal lines... Uh, comes back into the heart of Ukon. You know what? I, I've got that heart. I'm telling you. Uh, equipment. Uh, where did I put it? Eternity shards. Where's eternity shards? Uh oh. Miscellaneous other? Nope. That's not it. I know I've got this eternity shard here somewhere. But anyway, I will find it and get it to you. Um. Uh, so, so mm -hmm. is is there any chance that this whole experience could make end and possibility rated? <laughs> um, if he becomes possibility rated, uh, that would mean that you're gonna either you're gonna run two characters, or Andon is going to have to go off and do his own thing. Um, oh. but. To become possibility rated, he actually has to have a uh, a moment of crisis. I need ah, my battle himself, buddy. not just me. Okay. Right. I, I, I don't want to lose my battle buddy. <laughs> I can understand that. Um, okay, so we are now out of out of combat. So uh, please go ahead and take your cards off of. Uh, out of your pools. Um, very well done. Very nicely done. I'm going to have to keep that note somewhere. Uh, matter of fact, I think I know exactly where I can keep that because your next adventure is this one. So let me edit this I real can't quick. I killed the golem. I'm a monster. What? <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, PCs scored a glory on a persuasion test. Was that your first glory cap? I think that's her first. Yeah, that would At be least my in first this campaign. campaign. Oh, well, well played. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, each player has an additional uh, card slash hand size for this first act. Actually, for this adventure, because it's only one act adventure that it's coming up for Torg next. Okay, let me save that, and when I go to review and read it, I will have no qualms. Let's see Trips, queries or otherwise there you go uh oh i've really forgotten where i put my my uh uh where i Art. put my eternity shards um i i just looked at it like <laughs> last week you know where where my eternity shards go so anyway uh let's see no nope, not that one that one Does it give me... Did I put the link in here? Of course I didn't. That would just be too easy. Um, 
Because I could have dragged oh, the link. Like you probably... hmm? <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, almost like you could have done something easier for yourself or had a plan to do it earlier. Yeah. <laughs> just forgot about it. I, I just completely forgot about it. Okay, so here's the next question. How are you going to get out of here? Um, Good question. All of you, please give me a find test versus a 12. Oh, and here's how I was basically going to write what you guys did. The task is done, friend. In this... In time, this place will fade away, but you may let the memories of Ukon strengthen our defenses of this world, this reality, and let those memories live on into eternity. Allow us to take this burden so so the sons and daughters of Ukon shall be remembered for all of us uh, may be protected. Okay. Yeah, that's... That's what Without I was going to do. us doing the repetition, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, exactly. That's pretty much what you guys wrote anyway. So... That, it, really good, just very, very good. Uh, which is why you Mind got the up result. Uh, make it a twelve. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay, so Remy successful. Yes. Uh, as, as long as it's not the hole so in the wall from up top. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Are you spending Mind a possible? No, I'm uh, going to play a willpower. Okay. Might as well. All just, right. So that's. Okay, so that is um, uh, Wait, Toma. Yes, please. Toma, Katsumi, and Chris have thus far made it successfully. I accidentally closed my uh, character uh, sheet. Other. Yeah. Dun dun dun. dun. It I'm happens. Fine. What's the difficulty? Twelve. Okay, okay. So let's see who didn't roll yet. Rios, you didn't roll, but I'm I'm gonna kind of take it as a group effort thing. Okay. Um, Do I get my? Up? I'm sorry. I, I, is it still? Are we still up? No. Oh. No. no. You're not still okay. up. Just ask. Okay. So all of you kind of notice. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, actually, Rios may be kind of enthralled with this blue and red pulsing energy heart. It's kind of mesmerizing to look into it. Um, but you notice across the way there were there were a bunch of crystals and whatnot uh, outside of the building that were kind of obscuring whether the Adenos uh, were appearing as shadows or anything like that. All of that crystal has crumbled flat to the ground, and you can now see out of of the the windows that were there and the breakage. Uh, and there are there are no further Adenos who are at ground level, as far as you can tell. Neat. So, do all of you just kind of want to get out that way? Sure, we did the effort of ridding the area of them. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, is that okay with everybody? Because that's pretty much going to end the adventure for the evening. All right. All right. Everyone's around Rios. We must protect the child. The child? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Protect the child. <laughs> 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 All righty then. Hmm. Preload and activate. Okay, so here's the closure. As all of you make your way to the door, you, you oh, there's your Perils of the Living Land card, um, Ginger. Let's see, the party must negotiate a dangerous obstacle such as a massive waterfall they must climb, a raging river they must swim, oh. etc. All Storm Knights gain one to three possibilities once the obstacle is overcome based on the danger introduced. That danger was crawl or climbing across the, the crane to get to the top. I'm going to say that since the crane was um, really kind of difficult to cross, 
uh, and Anden had to be rescued, and you guys were also facing um, uh, Edinos from the ground, that's going to be plus two possibilities. So you guys are, are gaining possibilities, Ooh. gangbusters. Yeah, boy. Ooh, uh, Connor is banking. Remember to yeah. add them to, <laughs> to, remember to, add them to uh, Gordon's character. Uh, yes. Yes, I will. I will he do did that. In fact, uh, he did, in fact, um, climb that scaffolding. Yes. The camp. Yes, he did. Uh, Darius right there. Let me open up his sheet. So that's going to give him four possibilities. All right. <clears throat> now, um, so as all of you are kind of fleeing the building, you're keeping a good eye out for any Adinos that may be in, in still in the area. Um, you look up and you see the Lactin Flyers are seem to be flying a, a much larger circle than they were, perhaps somewhere around four miles in diameter okay um so you only actually see one maybe two in the air uh and they are not looking down at the ground um so yeah let me get rid of that um after a moment katsumi uh reconnects and is able to to feel around to make sure that she has all of her equipment, her armor, everything like that. So that's all good. Um, as you're moving toward the the boat at the river, um, you notice that uh, uh, you are not being followed. Um, uh, and the two storm knights that were that you were sent to kind of look for um, are actually making their way back along the river themselves you you catch up with them after a couple of minutes and and uh all of you introduce yourselves and you get to the boat unfortunately the boat has uh succumbed to the law of decay and it has sunk halfway into the river so you're going to have to walk the rest of the way which is um probably about a mile and a half at most um <clears throat> Uh, so then once you get to the shore, you can signal for Delphi Council to come and get you. It seems the interference, the radio interference, was more related to the mixture of Ukon and Living Land Zones. And uh, Core Earth. Like and Matt Core Earth. From, uh, three realities. Yep, basically because three realities, yeah. That's right. That's exactly right. Um uh, after about an hour and a half, two hours, they come and get you and and haul your butts out of the uh, the living land zone. Thus Pew, endeth the adventure, huh? I said, "Phew! Thank goodness, yeah. out of the living land." <laughs> Wait, did you ever reconnect, teachers? Yeah. Did she, I what? Yeah, she's reconnected. Uh, okay. She uh, somebody had a reconnection right. card or something like that. I don't remember. Um, anyway, yeah, she, she made a really good die roll and did reconnect. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get into, uh, completion. I'm going to show this to all players and we're going to go down to completion first. Uh, let's see cards, uh, move your pool cards back into your hands. If you would, please, if you haven't already. And the way that you do that is by going to each card and deselecting the checkbox for pool. And, and that's true whether you're in the basic or advanced uh, uh, view of the card hands. Um, any questions about that? Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. Uh, if you have... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, end of scene. We're not going to worry about that yet. Uh, do 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 for cards. Do 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 do. Okay, so ending an act. Let's look at ending an act and make sure everything's good. Um, you are not, your characters will not immediately be going into the next adventure. So any shock that you have, you can get rid of. Um, uh, let's say the same thing for wounds. It's probably going to be a couple of weeks, be, or maybe even you know a month or so before in, in the game before you guys go into your next adventure. Um, Let's see. So if you've got if you've got any wounds, go ahead and get rid of those. Um, yes. 
Okay, cards come next. I Oh, I see what I need to do here. Uh, cards come next. Uh, if you have any cards in your hand or your pool or anything like that, go ahead and discard those. Discard everything. Discard everything. Got discard it. it all. Uh, I had such good cards, too. <laughs> How do you discard? Oh, bear with me. I think I figured it out. Okay. I, I, I can't zoom out to see my character. There we go. Now, of course, before we go to play our next Torg adventure, I will ensure that all the cards are very well messed up. Shuffle. Shuffled. <laughs> Shuffled. <laughs> okay. So, uh, do we discard our Cosm card too, or just our Destiny cards? Yes, ma'am. Everything. Okay. Oh, I'm working on it. That's okay. Take your time. Where's this card? There we go. Yep. Oh, man. And I liked that transfer card if I had to use it for. It's a good card. Any reason. There's no lie about that. Most of these cards are uh, actually have a decent use. Uh, over the original uh, game. So I really like that. Okay. Uh, so. Now here are some house rules. Okay. And, and I, I'm including some house rules. In, in, in how this stuff works. If your character has more than three possibilities. You get to keep them. This is counter to the rules as written. But it's not counter to the original rules. Of the game. Um, the original rules of the game allowed you to have an economy for your possibilities. Uh, if your character has less than three possibilities and do not have the Prodigy perk, return them to three. If you've got the Prodigy perk, you return them to four. Um, so it looks like, Rios, you're the only one that has to return them uh, to three. Uh, All right, adding one possibility. Okay. Uh, what was that, Chris? What but never mind. Possibilities that? Uh, you have nine possibilities, so you're doing very, very well. Okay, so that's where mine should be at. Yeah. Because I, I misunderstood what you said. Um, now wait a minute. As as far as I know, it should be at nine. Um, let's see. Everybody starts okay. out with three possibilities. You were talking about having to discard them or something. I, 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 you broke up really, really badly. What? I thought you said something about having to get rid of a bunch of them if you were over like three or four in, or something. In the in the original game, um, uh, you were able to keep your possibilities in uh, in Torg Eternity you have to flush all your possibilities down to three. We are playing with my house rule, which is the same as the original game. You get to keep your possibilities. Okay? You know what they say. His house, his rules. Yep. And, and uh, I've got to be honest with you, there there have been a couple of, uh, of um, uh, videos come out recently that were that said exactly that. Okay? It's your house, your rules. Your, you are considered to be canon as far as your world goes. So I, I do have to ask, how did you get nine? Well, earlier there was, unless I misunderstood. Five, six, seven. Um, there was a moment where you said, two, then a little while later there was another, unless you were just simply repeating yourself and I misunderstood, another uh, section where you said something about adding two more. So it, I may have added too many. Well, um, it was supposed to be a total of four. You would have started out with three possibilities, so you might have, have added two too many. What's that? I started with actually five. I had five in my pool. Five in your... Huh? Before I wanted four. Okay, I'm I'm confused, but that's okay. That's okay. That's a natural yeah, state. You can have nine. He should have nine. If he started with five, we got two from the glory or fin and finishing the 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 adventure, and we got two from the perils of the living land card. He's good. Okay. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Um, that's right. So a total of of six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is exactly where you should have been. Actually, Rios, 
you you haven't you yeah. haven't yeah you haven't uh, included all of those let's see toma two four six rios you should have you should have nine as well unless no wait a minute you spent one didn't you spent one or I, two i spent several oh well okay all right, I'm 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 trying to figure out all of the math here. I did not keep a very good track on, on who was spending what, apparently. So... <laughs> I thought she should have at least four or five, I believe. Well, she was down to zero. She spent her last one on the glory, right? Yeah. All right. And then... Last one on the glory. And then we got the two for, from the glory. Mm -hmm. Two from and the glory. And then two from the perils of the living land. So she should have four. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yep, you should have four. I did a math. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Listen, I was Rios was an English major, not a mathematician. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it sounds to me like everything is squared away as far as possibilities go now. Uh, okay, so uh, ending the act. Uh, this was the the adventure and the act kind of rolled together. So ending the act gets you five experience points. I will put those in there um, and here in just a minute. And then ending the adventure gets you another five. Okay. Apparently that is a house rule, uh, which I did not realize. Uh, you can no longer exchange cards for possibilities. All knights gain the five XP. I already did that. Uh Okay. How much XP did you get? Uh, a total of 10, and, and I'll modify that in there. I don't think you guys can modify that in. So give me just a moment, and let me get to Storm Knights, Possibility uh, possibility War. Bam, 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 bam. And um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys uh, as a group. Darius only missed tonight. Okay, should he get the 10, 10 XP for finishing the uh, act and adventure? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. He's here for the majority. Okay. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write these down because I need to make sure that I get everything right. Okay, so opening your character sheets. Uh, let's see, that is the end of the adventure. Okay, there is a special rule that I have, and I've, I've had to go and, and write it up um, uh, kind of differently lately. Um, I, I've added a, a, a paragraph. Um, so if you'll go to the top of that page... Uh, for uh, advancement and completion, uh, and then scroll down to where it says possibility conversion to experience points, house rule, uh, skip that first paragraph, and you'll see the note. The idea behind this exchange is to allow a player to gain the remaining experience points necessary to make an attribute skill or perk purchase, not for the sake of just blowing up more of the same. For example, you're increasing mind from 10 to 11, which costs 22 XP to do, but you are short by, say, 2 XP. You can exchange one possibility, again, only as long as it's beyond your normal uh, uh, three or four possibilities uh, based on your character's build to gain the remaining 2 XP or 1 XP you would need to purchase mind up to 11. Okay, and you would keep the last remaining point. Once you understand that, uh, if you scroll back to the top, you're going to see advancement at the very top. And advancement in this game is really not all that difficult. Um, uh, so I want you guys to to kind of read the the advancement section uh, for attributes, skills, and perks. Um, you can you can use up to three of your possibilities to exchange for. Uh, experience points okay but only if you really need them attributes skills and perks I'm gonna go one of you at a time and kinda figure out what you guys want to improve now the perks <clears throat> are in the compendium and I've done a pretty decent job on the compendium okay so if all of you would look up at the the bar of icons toward the upper right uh, okay, no, nobody's trying to get a hold of me right now. Um, you'll see uh, a 
a little box, a little white box that looks like it has a world in it that is underlined uh, toward the far right. You should see a couple of gears and then to the left of that you'll see the compendium packs if you take your cursor over the top of it. Okay. Um, when you open that up you're going to see 00, zero possibility war. Go ahead and click to open that and then you're going to see your various um, uh, realities there. Go ahead and find your reality and click to open it. Okay. Uh, and then you're going to look for perks. Uh, see if you like any of those perks. Uh, and if you don't, then you'll go to the core game. It, it says at core game at the very top. It's got a D20 in front of it. And you'll look at perks from there. Now, I, I do not have all of the spellcasting perks in there yet, but we can work with that for anybody who wants to do spellcasting. Well, I know a, a, a perk I've been eyeing for a while now. Okay. What have you got? Mastery for uh, Kinesis. Mastery for Kinesis? Uh, I believe yep. you have to have... Have you got Kinesis at 5? Yep. Okay. So yeah, and then I'll be increasing my uh, Kinesis from a 5 to a 7. So that would be uh, 13 plus 9 is 22 XP. Go ahead and drag over the Mastery. Um, if you can find it, okay. it should be in, in uh, prowess perks under core game. Um, uh, yep. I was, that's where I was looking at it from okay. and see there plus skill mastery. Is that all you're going to improve? Yes, for now. Okay. That's Chris Darius. I don't know about yet. I'm kind of going in alphabetical order here. Peaches kind of, I said, <laughs> Right. How, well, I'm actually thinking of raising the dexterity attribute. Okay. Um, Normally, I, I concentrate on skills, and I, and um, I might decide to do that, but ha I have a 10 dexterity naturally. So, Wait, well, Jan, what's your, doesn't your armor limit your dexterity to 10? Ooh, no. I, I think he's right. Um... Let's see. Where is that arm? Oh, no, you've got the Iron Mesh clothing going on. So, no, that's... I don't think that does. Um, hang on. Let me go over to effects because that's you can't... That's a big point. Yeah. Take a look at that. Okay. Me, nope. Richard, it, it doesn't, it doesn't limit your decks at all. Oh. So... I remember at one point it did. Uh, that was some of the other stuff that I had before I got the mesh. Yeah. Why I took the mesh. <laughs> so dex 10 to 11 that's going to cost you 22 are you okay with that it's going to cost me how many points 22 because yeah. it's double okay. the next level you've got 23 right okay you're good with yeah. that yes i'm good with that okay 22 total Okay, uh, and and go ahead and make these changes, guys, um, as you're going along. I'm just writing them down so that I can get them in the right spot uh, in your in your records. Uh, let's see. That's so you're gonna have to. Will, will it? It'll let you. It won't. I, let I me, believe. Uh, no, it won't let me spend my XP. It'll let me. No, change no, no. My decks, no, but... I I will change your XP. Um, in, in, okay. you know what, now is as good a time as any. So let me go ahead and take care of that. Right. Um, so 22 to 35, that's 13, right? 22. No, they leave. 32, 35. One, I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with Chris right now. So that's, thir okay. Oh, uh, yeah. so, so that's yeah, 13. Sorry. So then, uh, Peaches. So who is next? Uh, okay, that's Chris. That's Peaches. Let me turn the page. Rios, you are next. Do you have any idea what you would like to improve with your 32 experience points? Uh, is it possible I could upgrade Andon's strengths from 8 to 9? Uh, yes, you could. 
Okay, so let's see. Anden strength, 8 to 9. That's going to cost you 18 of those experience points. Gotcha. Okay, um, so 18, 28. So that's going to leave you 14. All right. Anything else you want to improve or you want to think on it for a minute? I think that should be good for today, actually. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll have that written down. So 18. Box mm -hmm. that in. Total. Okay. And let's see. Let me get Rios open. And that's going to leave you with 13 XP. Okay. Uh, Toma. You have. Oh, wait a minute. Who did I don't mind taking care of. Oh, I did the wrong one, for heaven's sake. Uh, Rios, you had 35. Uh, not 32, so I've got to go back and refigure that. Um, well, that's still only expenditure. Of, so 161. I put it on the wrong spot. <laughs> so you're not going to you're not going to improve anything today. I I took I took care of some uh, skills. Oh, okay. What are those skills? So he can put it on the record. Yeah. yeah what oh, What did you improve? I can actually remember now. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I go step by step. <laughs> okay. Sorry. When you hear the following sound effect, imagine that you're slapping yourself really hard. <laughs> All right. So you've got you've got seven experience points to work with, not the ten. I. I do you remember? I what did stealth. Okay. Uh, science or another lock picking. So I did two, two, then two. Science. And then I put one in land vehicles. Wait a minute. No, it doesn't work that way. You've got seven points. Nope. Okay. Okay. So stealth. What were you improving it from and to? Uh, it was at zero. It was at zero, okay, so it cost one. So if you improve that to two, that's going to cost three. Uh, okay, now I'll get it fixed then. Okay, well, well, but you still got to tell me what, what it is you're doing. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. You can come back to me. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you and you can let me know. Katsumi. I have actually spent all 12 or will spend all 12 to cap out athletics. Okay, so athletics. I haven't actually spent the points yet. I was waiting until you were ready to ready to go. Write huh? it down. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Your athletics is presently at two. Um, so to take it to five is going to cost you five, nine, twelve. So there you go. Athletics. Okay. Two to five. That's twelve points. Uh. 12. How do I add the point to this skill? Okay, uh, okay, you need to go to your perks tab. And you'll see under custom skills, athletics. To the right of that, you're going to see a trash can, a little notepad with a pencil running into it, and a send to chat bubble. Okay. So when you when you do the edit window, which is the, the pad with the pencil running into it, you're going to see that you've got ads there. Uh, improve that from 2 to 5. There you go. And then add 3 to your skill value. So that's going to be 13. Okay. And let's see if it kept the 0. Okay, the dreaded 0. Okay, so that is done. So when you go back to your stats tab, uh, you'll see athletics is five with a total of 13 and and that would be it for you this time around so let's see i'm going to reduce that to pretty, first out rule that i had exactly enough to cap it that's that's pretty cool now if you want to take it beyond the five you have to purchase the mastery perk like uh, uh connor did just a little bit ago um but you you could be I, able to get it up to eight I'm sorry. My general plan for improvement mm -hmm. is my remaining skills that are not that capped mm -hmm. to cap those and then we'll start looking at perks, basically. Oh, okay. That's my thought. Yeah. 
there there is literally no bad way to build a character in this game. And then after that, I'm pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, you have five in all your skill sets. You're Batman, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that that's basically right. Um, okay, so uh, Remy, did you figure out what you wanted to do? Yeah, I increased my stealth by one, my science by one, then the same thing with lock picking and land and vehicles. So I used four of my XP. Okay, so those those were all zero. Those were all zero. Wow. Okay. So did you already yeah. update those on your sheet? Yeah, I already got those okay. updated. Okay. And land vehicles plus one okay and each that that means that you only spent four of your uh of your experience points right yes sir okay i can drive now yay uh, there's gonna be more than one pedestrian off the street with how you drive <laughs> yeah. oh hey you gotta be aggressive star holder right <laughs> <laughs> man down man down Another right. man down, and another man down. Another <laughs> one bites the dust. <laughs> okay, you got to stop that man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, out, or I'll get you too. <laughs> okay, uh, so I will take care of Darius in a little bit. <laughs> you betcha. Thank you, Justin. That was good. So, my friends, bless you. Thank you for being here. Um, I, uh, I will find that Eternity Shard and put it on Rios here in a minute. And, uh, Yay! <laughs> and I, I yeah, it, we, we'll determine what to do with that Eternity Shard next time we play. Okay. How many possibilities does it have in it? In it or do we know? Or would we be able to know? Uh, actually, Rios will be able to look that up if I can find the thing. Eternity Shards right at the top, right above equipment. Here it is. I'm a dope. Okay, so gear. I think that goes on gear. Uh, yes, there's an Eternity Shard at the very bottom of Rio's gear tab. And do you want to read it or do you want me to read it? Uh, allow me to pull it up so I may read it. Okay. Gear scrolling down. All right. Part of the con. Uh... The heart is found within the Crystal Spire Guardian during the Delphi Missions Rising Storm mission named the Heart of the Wukong. Uh, once the Guardian is defeated, the Storm Knights may pry the heart from the chest cavity and gain possession of the Eternity Shard within. If the Guardian spent all of its possibilities, the Shard is empty for he, now. He spent though it one. it refills each act as normal. What? He spent one, or it spent one. Um, so since it refills each act, it will be refilled before the beginning of the next adventure. And how many does it hold? Uh, that's further down. Oh, actually, no, it's not. There's a listing of possibilities to the left. That is its maximum number of possibilities. Five? Yep. I see. Oh, nice. And then it goes on to tell you the rest of it about, uh, about the heart and whatnot. Powers. When the Yukon Cosm drains a possibility from anyone, the heart gains one possibility. Beings in physical contact with the heart count as being in a dominant zone of the Ukon reality. Oh boy, I better not disconnect. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the heart's uh, possibilities may only be used against invaders. Ooh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. It cannot be. Uh, in other words, Ukon it can't be used to soak. Gotcha. Or negate. All right. <laughs> gotcha. Hey, uh, could I get a look at, uh, like, the core, you know, I mean, the social values or whatever they're called? Uh, the axiom values? Or, the, like, the, the axiom values for the Yukon, um, like, whatever. Hang on a second. I just want to take a look. Okay, no problem. Look in the chat. Oh, boy. That spiritual is pretty low. Uh-huh. Yeah, it, Cat, that's not too bad for me, you know, for my character. So, <laughs> if you're okay. feeling generous. Now, do you want to read the rest of the description? Yes, read it. Read it. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, the heart of Ukon is an I- icosahedron. Mm-hmm. Did I say that right? Yeah, pretty close. Icosahedron. Yep. Yeah, composed of a mixture of red and blue crystals. It is roughly double the size of a human heart. Anyone holding the heart hears faint whispers from a multitude of voices speaking some alien tongue. So oh, how boy. how crazy do you, do does Rios get to go? <laughs> Again, I you know I'm over here with the Universal Translator. Just so you know. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> but leave Rios alone for five minutes, and you come back, and she's kneeling in the corner with her crucifix. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, that sort of role-playing stuff we'll take care of later. <laughs> okay. By uh, the power of Christ, the ghosts can't get me. By the power of Christ, the ghosts <laughs> can't get me. By the power of Christ, the ghosts can't get me. I don't, did I believe in Christ? <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear this voice in an alien tongue. Uh, actually, it comes out to be an, uh, in, in, in your native language. We, we don't know this, Christ, but we're not going to make you crazy. Maybe. <laughs> okay. We're going to be talking to you. Yeah. Uh, you know, hearing whispers in another language is a bad sign where you come from. <laughs> Would yep. my translator not help with this at all? Uh, no, you, 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 no. The shadows. You, you, you only hear these voices in your head. Oh, boy. Yep. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> so, uh,. <laughs> All right. If there you is, did that too well. <laughs> if there is nothing else to the evening, that has been the heart of Ukon, and I'm grateful that all of you were here for it. Thank you. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. It was. It was a lot of I'm combat, but it, it. Yeah. What's that, Ginger? Uh, actually, I'm, I'm. I'm particularly glad that in the end. We were able to gain the the heart through persuasion and not having to kill its guardian. Well, yeah, that, honestly, I, I really did appreciate that. That that's that's the primary reason that Rios is is in the group <laughs> to talk people out of things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, our, I, we needed a face man in a desperate way. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, like every A team has their face man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, and I think, Kat, you should have been a bit more Johnny on the spot about, like, let's be, you know, be right to persuade and talk things of, like, just being able to, like, hey, how about you give me this? Talk about this. Uh, uh, right? Are you sure? It, it's, While we're still all around. How about, uh, how about this? Let's, uh, let's try it better next time. And uh, and 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 we'll do great. Um, but I I I do have to say, I, actually, you know what? I'm gonna let Toma say it about the original Adinos crew. Wait, what? The original Adinos that you guys fought on the seashore. What happened in that very first round? Uh, uh. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Uh, so. Oh. I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Thomas Love went charging ahead with no. the leap before you look kind of situation. He didn't. Rios and Andon Rio. did. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, but <laughs> Toma started. was was very put out by that. So, um, all right, my friends. Uh, <laughs> all right. I, I really appreciate y'all being here. I'm the barbarian of the party here. Okay. Uh, yeah, the barbarian who cares. <laughs> hey, so, barbarians can care. Yeah. 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 All it's right. Barbarian is. Anyway, Catherine, I'm just messing with you. I have to. It's my job. I don't. I don't. I don't get possibilities. So you know. <laughs> I mean, you totally could give yourself possibilities. It just you don't get to use them. Oh yeah. No, I get to use them too if I really want to. I, I, I prefer to do other things. If a if a bad guy is going to be possibility rated, then yes, they get to use their possibilities. But I'm not gonna give possibilities to every Tom, Dick, and Harry that comes onto the board and wants to beat on you guys. There are other ways of of dealing with that. Uh, stat changes, uh adding perks mm-hmm. or special abilities, you know, 
that sort of thing. Of course, like it the also werewolves. like the werewolves that kicked your butts in Silicap, Indonesia. Um, you know, things like that, uh, or the way the um, uh, the way the dire wolves acted in Nights Before Christmas, um, which I. I can show you guys those stats. They're not that hefty. You should have been able to take them, but for dice rolls. Um, your dice rolls were betraying the heck out of you that night. So, well, those nights. <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, we were lucky to survive at all. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. That yeah. is the truth. Um, it's, I, I'm probably going to have you meet those dire wolves again at another time. Uh, uh, the next time you and go into Isle, maybe. At time, we can probably totally crush them. Uh, yeah, because your dice will be acting better, um, because it will they will be <laughs> sad and guilty about uh, leaving you in such a lurch last time. Now, for the rest of you who weren't there, uh, your dice are going to screw you. Just... <laughs> um, anyway, my friends, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to take off. And uh, and thank you for being here. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, good night, John. We've boy. got a storm brewing around here. Oh yeah. <laughs> good night, everyone. Night. Good night. Take care. You too. Sweet dreams, everybody. Thank you so oh, yeah. much for the fun. Absolutely. Oh yeah, Absolutely. definitely. Good night. This definitely had some great highlights. This whole game. Yeah, there there have been some good things right. that have happened, especially one eye just kind of evaporating. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that was, was the so ultimate cool. power play when one eye got dissolved. Oh, yeah. You know, I never, I <laughs> never, I never root for my bad guys all that much, but I do want to use them to the best effect I can. And if that means that you guys get messed up in the process, then that's how it is. But um, so the loss of one eye really didn't affect me all that bad. But say it was Bart Kaw instead, that would be like, oh crap, I just gave away the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, we, we could have conquered the entire living land. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for that guy next time. He's next. Oh. <laughs> Question though. Sure. Have you ever, have you guys ever had like a party or anybody that wanted to try and conquer a cosm for themselves? I can honestly say I have not. Ginger, what about you? I had a character that, uh, Failed a mind control role and assisted in very same. But <laughs> <laughs> wanted it really hurt? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Potential character idea. Three, four, three, four, three, four, three, uh, yeah, control, exactly. But you know. <laughs> sure, well, sure, that's what they all say. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can't, man. All for the low, low cost of betraying my friends. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, you guys might have to answer that question Pretty one of these much. days. If given the chance, <laughs> would we conquer a cosm? I... Yeah, you could be offered your very own cosm. Exactly. All you do is turn your back on the rest of the world. <laughs> yeah, not a good idea. But, you know. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go ahead and shut this recording down and, and call it a night. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you all next weekend. Alrighty. All right. See you next I week. am so stoked to finally have a proper image for Andon. Yes, oh, I, I will yeah. work to get that up. Uh, I'll at least download it and put it in your folder and then try to get it up soon. Uh, but I'm going to try and take care of video stuff first. So, uh, gotcha. Gotcha. all right. All right, y'all have a great night and a great week. You too. All Bye. right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.